Hey what's up guys I'm Papa Joe and back again with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel and today in this video I'll be showing you new information on lucky draws that will return for the upcoming season 3 Vintage Vigilance, a method you could use to earn free COD points and more Call of Duty mobile related news. Before we start I would appreciate any support from you and if you don't want to miss any more COD mobile news you can subscribe to my channel. Now let's jump into the video. The new Season 3 Vintage Vigilance will be released on March 13th in Call of Duty Mobile and we can expect the new Season 3 Battle Pass, some new events, seasonal challenges, new free character skins and much more. Four days ago, the developers published the official blog post for the new Season 3 Vintage Vigilance, which provides us with a lot of information about the upcoming season even before the start. In addition to information on the BP free and premium rewards, the new functional weapon, the new multiplayer map and the themed events, the blog post also provided information on the new and returning lucky draws in Season 3. According to official information, the new Season 3 Vintage Vigilance will see the return of the Bright Gold Mythic Drop Draw, which includes the Mythic FFAR1 Bright Blade Blueprint and the Epic Kuiji Faded Shadow Operator Skin. Now that a few days have passed since the COD blog post, the Call of Duty mobile team has released a new video on their official Twitter account revealing more lucky draws that will return for Season 3. According to this, we can expect the return of the KO draw in Call of Duty mobile for the next Season 3, which includes this legendary ICR1 blueprint called Knockout as well as this epic alias Boxing Champ Operator. So far, however, there is no information on when the KO lucky draw will return to the game for Season 3. A lucky draw that, according to the developers, will also return for the new Season 3, but for which we also don't know when it will return, is the Chaos and Order Mythic Drop lucky draw. That's right, in addition to the return of the Bright Gold draw, the second returning Mythic Drop draw awaits us for the upcoming season in the game. In the returning Chaos and Order draw you can expect the Mythic Odin Divine Smite Blueprint and this Epic Prophet Arbiter Operator skin among other items. Even if two returning Mythic Lucky draws are good news, we can't really be happy because we are actually waiting for the Mythic DLQ33 Lotus Flames and not for the Chaos and Order draw. Write me your thoughts on this in the comments section anyway. The new lucky draws that will also appear in Call of Duty Mobile for the new Season 3 Vintage Vigilance were also revealed a few days ago by the Call of Duty Mobile team on Twitter, which is why we can get a first impression of the respective lucky draw main rewards. In the new Shutterbug lucky draw, for which the lucky draw trailer of the Chinese version has already been released, we can expect this epic Scylla Hidden Observer Operator together with the legendary Tech 9 Film Noir Blueprint. In the new New Order Lucky Draw, we can look forward to the Kilgore Dissidence Operator and the legendary HVK-30 blueprint called New Rain. This epic art reinforcement operator, which looks pretty bad in my opinion, appears together with the legendary ZRG 20mm Coffee Craze blueprint in the Top Sleuth Draw for the new Season 3. The Lone Shot Draw, which will also be released next season includes the beautiful legendary Dame Break of Dawn Operator and the legendary Kilo Bolt Action Scarlet Shot Blueprint. Last but not least, the Gold Digger draw awaits us in the game for the new season, which will include this epic Dem Remnant Danger Operator and the legendary LK24 The Vault Blueprint. Unfortunately, there is no information yet on when the Season 3 Lucky Draws will be released. Now we come to the last topic in this video and for this we take a look at a Twitter post from the official Call of Duty mobile Twitter account, which was published a few days ago. Three days ago, a new video was released as a sequel to the previous Season 3 teaser with the following caption on the official COD mobile Twitter account. We've found video evidence of the incident. Does this reveal any new leads on how Special Ops 1 died? The video shows Special Ops 1. Damon and Dem are walking down a corridor on the Cheshire Park map and suddenly being attacked by someone. However, it is not clear that Special Ops 1 was fatally hit in this video, which is why the question on how Special Ops 1 died cannot be answered. However, 
Some players still commented their speculations under the post and suddenly received the following reply from the Call of Duty mobile Twitter team. We need your help finding Special Ops 1. Check your team as some players have received a message from the Call of Duty mobile team saying that COD Mobile would like to surprise them with COD points and that they should send their UID and confirm that they are at least 18 years old. After the players who received a message from COD Mobile sent their UID and confirmed that they are at least 18 years old, they received a new message in their in-game mailbox and were allowed to collect 560 COD points for free. So far there is only information that a single player has received a total of 560 CP for free from Call of Duty Mobile itself after commenting on the video on Twitter. Therefore, it seems unrealistic that you will also get 560 CP from Call of Duty Mobile itself after commenting today or tomorrow. So keep an eye out for these Call of Duty Mobile mini giveaways that are released on Twitter from time to time. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.